Hello, and welcome to Biodiesel Magazine's podcast. I'm your host, Anna Simmet, and I'm here today with Lisa Kaufelt, who is Marketing Director at the Iowa Renewable Fuels Association. Hi, Lisa. Thanks so much for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Absolutely. And um, to start, Lisa, why don't you begin by telling our listeners a li- little bit about the um, Iowa Renewable Fuel Association, or IRFA? Sure. Well, we were formed um, back in 2002, and we represent um, the state's liquid fuels, re- liquid renewable fuels industry. Um, we have ethanol plants, biodiesel plants, and also renewable natural gas plants um, are our members. That's who we represent. And so we try to help the industry through education, promotion, and infrastructure development. Um, We're pretty small staff. There's only four of us here, but we are strong and mighty. Right. No kidding. And how long have you guys been around for? Um, almost, let's see, we're doing our 20 year anniversary this year. So 20 years. Um, wow. It's been a long time. Yes. Yes. It's been fun. We put together a, a, a big book and a timeline and we have done a lot in 20 years. It was fun to reminisce. Mm-hmm. All right. So Lisa, we're here today to talk about the Iowa on farm biodiesel credit program. But before we get into that, maybe, um, if you'd like to tell our listeners a little bit about Iowa's biodiesel industry. Yeah, we have, um, there are 11 biodiesel plants in Iowa and they have the capacity to produce 410 million gallons annually. Um, so it's, it's a strong industry and, um, we are huge supporters of Iowa and very important to the rural communities across Iowa. Thanks, Lisa. So um, let's move on then to talk about the uh, new program that you guys have started. What's this all about? Yeah, so we're kind of copying a program from the Nebraska Soybean Board. They have a very similar program they started in March. Um, Mm -hmm. So we're kind of piggybacking off of them. For Nebraska, they are giving credit to farmers who are using biodiesel blends of B2 and B5, meaning there's 2% biodiesel or 5% biodiesel. We decided to kind of up the ante a little bit, and um, we have a very similar credit program, but we are giving credit to, to um, farmers who are doing a um, B11 or a B20 blend. Um, so it's working pretty well. We've got about 20 farmers. Um, there are a couple limitations um, we just want, um, it's about $500 credit per user, mm-hmm. um, and it's limited on a first come first serve basis. Um, we would like people to be 18 years old to participate, and we would really like the fuel to be delivered to a farm located in Iowa. Aha. Uh-huh. Okay. So you opened up applications a few weeks ago, is that correct? Yeah, a few weeks ago, um, and we um, recently just had a couple companies add some funding to the program, which was fantastic. We have the um, Renewable Energy Group, Iowa Soybean Association, Western Dubuque Biodiesel, Western Iowa Energy, all have donated additional funds. So we're up to 35000 um, in potential biodiesel credits that um, we have across Iowa. So we're super, super excited for that. We should be able, um, with our calculations, to be able to help 50 farmers. Wonderful. And so how does this work? So um, farmers can fill out applications online, right? Um, I'm sure that's at your website. Um, are they, so do they get reimbursed after the fact? How exactly does it work? Yeah, so we have an online application program. It's pretty mm-hmm. straightforward. It's just your name, address, and some contact information. It also has a link that you need to upload your receipt. So the receipt needs to show a proof of purchase um, and also what blend you're purchasing, how many gallons, things like that. So that's all brought to my desk, and um, I go through there and calculate how much credit each farmer um, will receive, and we send out checks. It's pretty straightforward. 
Well, awesome. And um, is there any deadlines or is it just whenever the funding is used up? Yeah, well, um, and we did set a kind of a deadline, I guess. We want the fuel to be purchased after July 15th. So these okay. can't be old receipts um, from the beginning of the year. We really want it to keep recent. Um, but really, this is um, as long as the money in, is in the pot, we're going to keep going. So uh, we'll go as long as we can for this 35000 Um We might get more donations and we get to keep going from there. So we're going to go until we spend it all. That's so awesome. Very cool. Um, anything yeah. else that, you, you know, you want to add about this? Um, yeah, we sent, we uh, started a whole campaign kind of in the beginning of the year, but really trying to educate farmers that biodiesel is supported by John Deere and Case IH engines, which is a lot of those engines on Iowa farms. Um, and with the, with the high fuel prices, and there just isn't a better time to give it a try. So um, we're hoping that this kind of gives farmers that extra motivation or push to give some of those higher blend biodiesels a try. Right, absolutely. And so um, if there are any questions, should our listeners reach out to you? Yes, reach out to me. And um, the easiest way to get a hold of me, just give me, give me a call on my cell phone, 515-829-0478. And I'm absolutely happy to help. Wonderful. Well, um, Lisa, thank you so much for speaking with me today and discussing this new program with us. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, thank you. We're really excited. I hope it turns out to be pretty successful. No doubt. And um, to our listeners, thanks so much for tuning in. And um, just a side note, please reach out to me anytime if you're interested in being a guest on the Biodiesel Magazine podcast. Be well and have a great day.